It's the 23rd of the 6th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. And I have reached a frightening milestone. 5,000 of you actually subscribe to my channel. And uh, my uh, video hits have been running right around 3 4,000 apiece. So things are scary enough that enough of you are actually watching and paying attention to what I'm saying. And uh, the news I'm putting out instead of watching the mainstream news. These are the scary times we live in. Pretty scary. Okay, we're going to start um, the extinction protocol. 6.7 magnitude earthquake strikes off the coast of Japan. Uh, they did issue tsunami warnings, but they were later dropped. Um, just another day on the island. Um, a series of quakes again, and it's and it's that whole shelf is unstable. Um, no new reports out of Fukushima today, um, so I don't know what this new earthquake has uh, caused, or, uh, but it's definitely something we need to pay attention to. Newly discovered comet makes swing by Earth in 2013. Uh, out of Hawaii, a newfound comet discovered by a telescope designed to hunt for dangerous asteroids will make its closest pass by Earth in 2013 and should be visible to the naked eye when it draws near, astronomers say. Uh, Hawaii's Pan Stars 1 telescope detected the comet, which is called C 2011 L4. On the night of June 5th and 6th, the discovery was confirmed by follow up observations with different instruments a day later. Uh, the comet will likely come within 30 million miles um, of the Sun in February, March 23rd, about the same distance as the planet Mercury. New harmonic tremor detected at Iceland's Katla volcano. And uh, let's remember Katla um, was pretty much the cause of the mini ice age a few hundred years ago. Um, it's been on the warning list. It is seriously past due. Uh, June 22nd, today around 1600 UTC, there was a new harmonic tremor in Catla Volcano. This harmonic tremor has two sources. Uh, this harmonic tremor has two sources. The hydrothermal activity under the glacier or the magma moving deep inside Catla Volcano. Without cre creating many earthquakes in Catla Volcano, it's unclear which the case is at the moment. Uh, these spikes are so far not related to glacier floods from Catla Volcano, but that sometimes also happens without an eruption being involved. It is impossible to know what happens next, but it also is important to be aware of the fact that the earthquake season is starting in Catla Volcano, but that is normally from the end of June to the beginning of October, or when the snow starts to, again to fall in Iceland. Um, <clears throat> more earthquakes are going to be seen this summer also because of more sill seismometers around Catla Volcano, so there's no reason to panic about Catla at the current time, but it's worth to keep watch on it anyway. And I believe it was a little over a year ago I put my uh, alert out on Catla is overdue, and uh, if you do your homework on Catla, it's, it's, it was not a good experience the last time it went off. Uh, they called it... Uh, the year uh, summer never came, basically. Major geological change on the ground confirmed in uh, Eritrea. Seven dead from the eruption. That's the country just north of Ethiopia that went off. Uh, they've got a big picture of a large lava flow and the ash still going on. The, erup the eruption of the stratovolcano has created new landmass, according to the Director General of Mines and Ministry of Energy and Mines. Uh, said that the ash and lava emitted from the southern Red Sea region volcano has created new landmass measuring hundreds of square meters. Uh, the Director General also disclosed that the team composed of geological and volcanic experts is conducting studies in the area. Meanwhile, according to reports, seven people have died, while three people have sustained injuries due to the eruption. Uh, the Ministry confirmed that inhabitants in the areas have been moved to safer locations, while at the same time they are being given basic provisions. Uh, this is the same area that I said last night, that uh, nine, you know, several villages were covered with ash and their water sources out, and they were asking for help. 
Oh, they got a fear piece. Israeli leaders practice evacuation drills to nuclear bunkers. Saskatchewan flooding causes portion of the Trans-Canadian Highway to close down. A large portion of the Trans-Canada Highway in eastern Saskatchewan is closed due to flooding. A stretch of about 150 kilometers from Whitewood to Balgoni, the province's main highway, is closed in both directions due to deep water on the road near the village of uh, Sin. Taluta, Sintaluta, located about 85 kilometers east of Regina. Um, the government decided to close the highway. It was up to 60 centimeters deep in some places to uh, drown out the road. And of course, the flooding was caused by heavy rains, and this is going all the way into uh, North Dakota, which is uh, Minot had hits big day today. And, um, <clears throat> those rivers overflowing, cities being evacuated, and all of this is draining down into the Missouri River Valley, um, past two nuclear reactors which are already um, <clears throat> inundated with water. Um, they have, South Dakota's reported they're increasing their release to 160,000 um, cubic feet per second out of their dams, which is going to raise the water level even more um, due to all the excessive heavy rain that is ongoing in the um, northern United States and Canada. Nerves frayed as Christchurch hit by another wave of violent tremors. New Zealand, last night another wave of violent tremors shook Christchurch residents again and disrupt disrupted exams some university students. The most violent earthquake, the 5.4, just hit after 10.30 p.m., scaring the wits out of exhausted Christchurch residents. For us, it wasn't a rolling. It was a very sharp upheaval, and it really threw everything up and dropped it on the ground. Again, Christchurch is just sitting on a seriously unstable um, platform, and uh, people do need to get out of that city. Uh, just ongoing lobby erupts from Chile. Puhu Volcano, that's that big um, volcano that's been erupting um, the six miles wide, three miles wide, or six miles long, three miles wide gash. Lava has begun spilling from Chile's uh, volcano 18 days after it first erupted. But there's no danger to nearby residents, according to the National Service of Geology and Mining. But the acid cloud created by the eruption continues to wreak havoc on airlines around the world. Um, seeing pictures of uh, colored sunsets in the southern hemisphere due to this volcano. Again, it's a climate changer. Uh, carbon scam tax uh, reports oceans dying at alarming rate. Scientists warm up coming extinction. And again, they're talking about um, all the carbon emissions and the pollution in the oceans. And, uh, you know, I haven't seen a thing about uh, the Fukushima and the radioactivity in the Pacific Ocean, um, so this is another bullshit story where these scientists are trying to convince you to pay your carbon tax um, like they're going to be able to fix anything. Uh, Ireland, funnel clouds spotted over County Gateway, uh, Galway. An eagle-eyed weather online follower in County Galway has captured what, what appears to be a funnel cloud forming near her home. A kid of Sullivan from Adrian, in south of the country, emailed uh, with her shot the weather future forming a storm cell Tuesday evening uh, around 5.15, 5.20 p.m. local. Um, from me looking at the picture, uh, being a Midwesterner, it definitely looks like a tornado. And uh, so Ireland's coming up with some crazy weather. That's not something you hear about every day. U.S. rains, floods, engulf St. Cloud's roads. <clears throat> For a while, late Tuesday afternoon, it seemed though uh, central Minnesota was either going to sink or float away. Again, here's these heavy rains in the northern United States ongoing. Uh, they have a video attached. <clears throat> um, they're reporting storm damage out of Chicago. And, uh, and this was this big land okay that's still spinning. You can see the low front spinning up. But I think um, all the storms in the southern United States has kind of sucked all the power out of it as far as the moisture and whatnot. So the southeast United States are getting hammered today. Africa, first footage 
emerges of uh, the volcano eruption, of course. The 6.7 uh, that rattles northern Japan. Well, here's the one out of Chicago. ComEd says it may take until Thursday to restore power to areas uh, around the Chicago area. Commonwealth Edison says nearly all of its customers in the Chicago area who had power knocked out by Tuesday night storm, including 239 still without power, could have their electricity restored by late Thursday. And um, <clears throat> again, bad storm, several tornado warnings, and uh, hail, and we know the works. We've just been going ongoing up here. Ongoing. Tropical storm Haima hits southern China, forcing ships to stop service. Uh, all passenger ships have been forced to cease operations in the south uh, straight as of 5 p.m. Wednesday due to gusty winds brought by the fourth tropical storm this year. Haima, which formed early Tuesday morning, the local marine bureaus of the southern Hunan province said. And uh, this is one of two tropical storms hitting um, southern China. And uh, U.S. Chicago area cleans up after storm damage, of course. South Carolina man killed, others hurt in overnight storm. And uh, more strong thunderstorms that rolled through. Uh, China prepares for more flooding. U.S. rivers rising with heavy rains, of course. Um, again, here in the Missouri Valley and to the north and all the way down into the Mississippi, still flooding, 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 flooding. Over to the RSOE real quick. Again, nothing new in Fukushima. Uh, flooding in the state of North Dakota. Missouri, Nebraska, Iowa. Um, China flooding. And of course the wildfires in uh, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Florida, Southern Georgia. Because uh, they got these dry thunderstorms rolling through and the lightning hits in the dry areas and of course fire spark cuts uh, pretty pretty common flash floods reports out of Nigeria um, Extreme weather in Milwaukee, Wisconsin tropical storm off the coast of Mexico, of course um, still ongoing Forest fires in uh, California the volcano activity in Indonesia, where the lake changed colors and all the fish died. And uh, flooding in the Philippines. And again, the list goes on and on and on. Um, if I missed anything, please post it down below or attach your videos. Uh, enjoy it while you can, everybody. Thanks for all your help. 5,000. My God.